Hello everyone and welcome to VMWareLab.org. My name is Mahar Al Asfar. I'm a Cloud Management Staff SC with VMware. In this video, we will be looking at vRealize Automation 8.0 Easy and Simple Deployment. vRealize Automation 8.0 is all about install simplicity and architectural scalability, where we can expand the design very easily by scaling up or out when needed. The new modern microservices design allows better performance, easier updates and upgrades, and improved high availability out of the box. Leveraging Kubernetes infrastructure to run all the VRA8 services as pods, fronted by an ingress controller running on one or three Kubernetes nodes configuration. Also, as a side note, to install and manage VRA8, you will need both vRealize uh, Lifecycle Manager 8.0 and VMware Identity Manager 3.3.1. These virtual appliances will be common to all vRealize products. The three node cluster can support 130,000 managed machines and unlike VRA7.x, there are no Windows servers required whatsoever. The installation process starts with a single ISO files that you download from VMware.com. The v VRealize Easy Installer will help you install VRealize Automation and VMware Identity Manager in less time than it would take to install individual products. VRealize Automation is installed, configured, managed, and upgraded only through VRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager. In this video, we are going to provide the step-by-step -step process of deploying vRealize Automation, vRealize Lifecycle Manager, and VMware Identity Manager by using the vRealize Easy Installer. So let's get started. Here we have a small lab environment that consists of a data center with a single cluster that consists of one host uh, running the virtual center appliance that is managing this small environment. Uh, this virtual center also we will be targeting to install and deploy vRealize Automation 8.0. We have already downloaded the ISO file for the vRealize Easy Installer. We're going to mount the ISO. The ISO file structure con consists of the OVA folder which, conta which contains the product binaries for VIDM and VRA. These OVAs will be copied over to LCM once LCM is deployed and up and running. Initially, vRealize Easy Installer will use the OVF tool to deploy the LCM appliance. And then lastly, the UI Installer folder. This is where you have the opportunity to execute the installer. Uh, and you can do that from a Linux, Mac, or Windows. We're running Windows 10 here. Uh, for this demo, so we're going to uh, use the 132 folder and launch the installer.exe. Once the easy installer is loaded, you have the option to install uh, from, uh, <coughs> the three products uh, in a greenfield environment, or if you have LCM already uh, uh, on your environment, you can use the migrate option to migrate from an earlier version uh, of LCM. So we'll hit install. You're presented with an introduction page. We'll hit next. We'll accept the uh, license agreement. We'll hit next. And now we have to specify the vCenter details that we're targeting. So we're gonna put the password. Press next, accept the certificate, choose the uh, VM folder or the uh, data center that you're deploying the virtual appliances to, and then uh, select the resource, which is the cluster that you're deploying the virtual appliances to. Select your data store, and you have the option of using uh, thin disk mode here. It's selected by default. Hit next. Uh, this is uh, the network configuration where we will select the network that it's going to be used for all three products and also all the network metadata associated with that network. Things like uh, the type of IP assignment, the subnet mask, the default gateway, DNS server, and domain name. You also have the option to provide the NTP server for the appliance operating system. We'll hit next. 
This is the password configuration. We're setting the password for all products, everything from root password, admin password for both Lifecycle Manager and VMware Identity Manager. We're, we are also setting the password for the default configuration user that we will later use to access VRA. So we're gonna set a password here. And hit next. And now we uh, uh, start with the uh, LCM uh, inputs. So we're specifying the Lifecycle Manager configuration, starting with the virtual machine name, IP address, and the uh, host name, which is the fully qualified domain name. Hit next. On the Identity Manager configuration, you have the option to install a new VMware Identity Manager or import an existing one. Just remember that if you're importing an existing VIDM appliance, make sure it's running 3.3.1. Uh, for this video, we're installing uh, a new VMware Identity Manager, so we're providing all the configurations, things like virtual machine name, the IP address, we're assigning it, and the uh, host name, which is the fully qualified domain name. We are also setting config admin as the default configuration admin. Now, there is a global configuration for VIDM that you can uh, enable from here, which is uh, sync group members to the directory when adding a group. When this is enabled, the members of the groups are synced when the groups are added from Active Directory. If you don't have this uh, checked, uh, uh, which means disabled, the group names are synced to the directory, but the members are not. On the Virilize Automation configuration, uh, you have the option of doing a standard deployment, which is only one appliance, or you can do a cluster deployment if you're doing this in production. You have the option to set your load balancer, which can be NSX, F5, Netscaler, or even a DNS CNAME record. Uh, and then you're providing the master uh, automation details for the appliance, the name, IP address, host name, and the two secondary node one and node two uh, to, to form a three node uh, a cluster. Uh, again, for our demo, we're doing a standard and standard deployment. And so we're just providing the details and the configuration for the master VRLIZE appliance uh, that we will be deploying. Once we're uh, good to go, and of course the license, the VRLIZE automation license, once we're good to go, we'll hit next. Uh, once you review the settings before starting the appliance uh, and everything, you're just reviewing all the summary of all the settings that we did through the wizard. Uh, we hit submit. So now let's simply sit back and watch the deployment process. All right, as you can see, the installation process is complete. The Virilize Suite Lifecycle Manager service are up, and we have a URL so we can navigate into the UI, and also the VRA deployment is successful, uh, and also we have another URL to navigate to the VRA UI itself. Uh, as you can see, the initialization, the installing of uh, LCM, moving the binaries, and instantiating the install for both VIDM and VRA, and finally finishing the VRA install. All five steps are completed. And uh, one uh, note to mention that we have here the location for the installer log, uh, sort of uh, uh, in, in case if, you've, if you're troubleshooting an issue, uh, this is where the installer log are being stored. For now, let's go ahead and look at uh, LCM first. So if we click on the URL, <clears throat> 
and here we're going to log in with admin at local all right and this is the same password that we've entered if you guys remember for the uh, um, <clears throat> the default configuration for the password that we did and um, uh, right away we have access to the dashboard as we log into the uh, lifecycle manager you can see there's a new feel and look uh, for the uh, for vrlife suite lifecycle manager 8.0 we'll go on to the lifecycle operations We'll see here that all the recent requests that was carried by LCM, and if we actually look at uh, the requests that we have, you can see that both the VRLAS automation environment and the global environment has been completed. So if we take a look at the task that was carried out, there was uh, six stages in total, and uh, <clears throat> you can uh, see all the stages uh, and how long a each stage took. And you can see they're all uh, successfully completed. If we uh, go back to request uh, and check out the uh, VRA environment, we can again see seven stages in this one and also all the stages and the task that was carried out and how much each, sta each, each stage uh, took uh, to complete in terms of time. If we uh, click on the data center, you'll see the data center that was uh, added uh, automatically uh, during the installation wizard and if we look at the environment you will see our two environments one we have the global environment where we have our vidm 33.1 and then we have our the vrlize operation which is installed the vra uh, vrlize automation 8.0 so two different deployment uh, the global environment and the vrlize automation itself and here i can carry other stuff like adding a new product uh, exporting logs and so forth if we go back to the uh, uh, <clears throat> easy installer, we can click now and access the VRA deployment. And uh, you're presented with the uh, uh, welcome page uh, uh, for VRLize automation. This is a new logo. And then uh, to actually log in, we uh, click on uh, the login to page, the main page. Here we're going to uh, use our uh, configuration user, which is uh, config admin and the password that we provided. And you can see here we have access now to the CSP or the Cloud Services Console uh, portal. Uh, all the services that we have, Cloud Assembly, Code Stream, Service Broker, in addition to the VRA migration assessment and the orchestrator which is uh, a first class citizen now and there is a uh, a client built in into the ui so let's go ahead and test accessing the uh, cloud assembly uh, we start with a guided uh, setup diagram we have access to all the menu we can go out and uh, now load service broker yep and uh, the content and policies, the infrastructure as well, all the deployments, so it's loading. And lastly, code stream, and that makes up the VRA services. Um, <clears throat> again, we are loading the guided setup uh, deployment, and we have access to all the menu, and we can start creating pipelines. Uh, lastly here, orchestrator. So Orchestrator, like I mentioned, is a first-class citizen. So the client is actually built in the UI and it's an HTML5 and I access here all the workflows that I have. And of course, these workflows are uh, already uh, populated because the integration is there out of the box uh, with the built-in uh, VRLize Orchestrator uh, service. With that, this concludes this video. Thank you for watching.